Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I'm being accompanied by my apprentice, and we're gonna take a look at a uh, computer chip for a slot machine. And this one here, it, I can visually see that it's got some issues. And uh, we're gonna flip these cameras and give you a look, show you some of the signs and symptoms that I, I, I've been dealing with, and uh, some of the steps we're gonna take to restore this back to hopefully a functioning PCB. All right, let's do it. Let's flip over. All right, so I'm gonna have to kill some of these lights because you can tell there's way too much glare. All right, so this is a uh, certified Japanese um, vending machine. You can tell it's, it's got the logos on it everywhere. It's absolutely encapsulated with these uh, little stickers. So technically, by cutting these stickers, I would be degrading the value of this machine. However, this machine is currently not working, so it doesn't matter anyway, All right? So uh, let's do this, let's do this. There we go, now they can see us, right? What do you think? Should we just get rid of this? Yeah. Maybe like this. Maybe like that. <laughs> I don't know, none of it matters. Okay guys, so uh, sorry about the, the white glare. If I increase the amount of lights, then uh, it gives us some problems. You can see the glare. Is that better? It's not better, is it? It's all that yeah. Ooh, look at you. Is that part of the background? No, it's not part of the background. All right, we're gonna kill that light. All right, I can't wait to get my other camera up here so that we can do a little bit better. All right, so anyway, uh, this is it. It's encapsulated, so what we gotta do is we gotta find a way to get inside it. The plastic is also very brittle, so that's something that we have to be aware of. So first thing we're gonna do is we're we go right down the seam, and we're going to cut this this tape. Ooh, I hate doing it, but uh, it's a necessity. Okay, so there's plastic latches that hold this thing together. You can see one of them's right there. One of them's going to be right here underneath this guy. So I have to cut the tape to get to it. Interesting that they designed it just so. Okay, let's see right here. Where is it? Right there. So it's identical to this one. Wow, that one's really latched in there too. And I can't really see what I'm doing because it's got all this pink tape all over it. All right. So this one here, the latch is inverted. It's on the other side. There it is. You can hear it crackety crack. And I'm trying to be careful too. Okay. So I've got it slightly split. I'm gonna stick, it, I'm gonna stick one of my tools in there. To keep it from closing back up. All right, and then I've got another plastic latch right here. Oh, you can hear it. Darn it. That never sounds good when you hear those sounds. Okay. So I'm cutting the marking tape down here. And let's see, I think I can just split it. Yep, there we go, cool. All right, so I don't see any fasteners, which is interesting on this guy. I don't know how or why they got away with that. There are these like plastic type of caps right here. And the one that was over here broke off. And that is one of the last things that's really holding this guy in. So I'm going to see if I can pry it up with these guys. There it is. All right, so just one plastic stud. And now I think this whole card should separate. Come on, girl. There it is. Plastic latch. A lot of these plastic latches are already broke because it's so brittle. Okay, so there's one piece of my acrylic. Um, you know, this is so brittle, I really wish uh, that I could buy these online. I'll have to check and see if I can. 
or if uh, they can be 3D printed. I don't need it to be clear, all right? It doesn't have to be clear. It just has to protect the card, the PCB. All right, let's flip it over. All right, here's the PCB, the top lid. All this uh, 1970s, 1980s plastic is really brittle. All right, and here we go. This is it. This is the <laughs> basis of everything. So now I, I can go ahead and flick on some lights. Hopefully that doesn't blow my camera out. All right, uh, let's see, what do we have? We have this capacitor over here in the corner. Looks like it's gotten hot. This guy, it's a NEC 5.5 volt, um, 0.22 F, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, let's check that guy out. Google Lens to the rescue, guys. Because it... go so what I'm doing is I'm using Google Lens to find the component okay so they call them super capacitors so this is a 5.5 volt um, 1 point, 1 1.0 farad that's what I was kind of confusing me is it, it says one farad and I'm like geez it seems like a lot they're obtainable, okay. Well, one of the reasons I'm opening this bad boy up is because over here, take a look at this guy, at this guy. Uh, this guy here's got some like moisture on the top of it, which is a first sign of leaking. And this guy right here is clearly bulging. This guy here's got some top damage. Interesting. And I'm seeing a lot of residue over here like it leaked down from these capacitors. Now, when I first opened this guy up, this trace, this trace, this trace, and this trace had some sort of liquid on them, right? And I couldn't figure out where that liquid was coming from. Well, it's coming from right here, right? It's leaking from those capacitors and it's getting down on those traces. So this whole board has got like this waxy kind of substance on it and that's gonna have to be cleaned off and I'm gonna have to remove all these caps. So it looks like these ones here, let's see, what size are they? Um, so I got 470 microfarad, 25 volt. And it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, is that one also? Six, so I got six of those. And then what's this guy? Oh man, all these caps should just be redone. And then I've got this top one right here, which is, you know, they're all good caps too. Of course they're Japanese. Um, what are these? Oh, there it is. 220 microfarad, 25 volt. Okay, well, that's simple enough. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. And also, interesting, very interesting, this guy over here that's labeled IC1, it's, I, I can't tell anything else, but it's, it's over here by, let's see, that's probably my volt, a voltage regulator. And this guy here is, is very gooey. I'll have to check him. I'll tell you what, oh, I don't have my microscope set up. <laughs> what a shame. Okay, well, this guy right here, the legs are corroded on that voltage regulator. So I'm gonna see if I can get a replacement. It's very corroded, in fact. And this guy over here, all these legs are, man, they're, they're just, they look like they got a black residue on them. So I'll have to check those out as well. But that's what it is, is my, my voltage is coming in on that section of the board. And this is the computer that powers the whole thing. And if I have, bad filtering caps, then there's no way I'm gonna have power. So, there we go. Next step is to clean this board, clean it well, 
and then I've got to go through with a scrub brush make sure that all the corrosion has gone and I'm going to check the voltage regulator and the other chip the IC1 which there's no visible inscriptions on it which is really odd it's, it does have a, a coating of that like residue from the caps so I got to clean that off as well and then we're going to recap it and then we're going to see how well it does all right thanks for watching guys and uh tell you what when i recap this guy we'll go ahead and do another video and show you guys the result hopefully it works